Hi, Resalicious here. You might know me from my Instagram, Resalicious. This YouTube channel is gonna be kind of an extension of my Instagram, but it's gonna be just a more relaxed format, longer vlog style content about day in the life type things of being a reseller and trying to increase my sales month after month. One of my goals is to get to 50K per month in sales this year. Currently, I'm between 10 and 15,000 but I do feel that the potential is there. The more you make, the easier it is to make money, so I believe I can get there by the end of the year. And I'm just gonna kind of document that and uh, maybe do something on a weekly basis to make sure I have enough content and it's good quality to watch. So welcome, thank you for watching. Let me know of any suggestions that you have and hope you enjoy the video. It's gonna start out with me looking for something I misplaced that I need to sell on eBay and I kind of go through a couple days, I think, of uh, just my normal daily tasks. So put it on in the background when you're packing, shipping, or listing, and I hope you enjoy it. This disaster you see here is because I lost a shoe. So I've taken everything out of these shelves, everything, all these bins I've been through multiple times, but I'm gonna go through them again because I can't find the other half to this shoe that I sold. And this shoe is due to be shipped today. It's eight o'clock PM, so I have an hour to either get it to FedEx or get a label printed, and then I'll just upgrade to priority. So I'm gonna look for the shoe now. Ow, I'm not that flexible. Not in there. Okay, um, you're gonna have to see this to believe it. So I'm sitting here on my laptop, typing to the customer, apologizing for losing the shoe. And, I, okay, this was a long shot, but there was a point in time where I had all my shoes up on the sofa when I was looking for something. So here's what happened just now. I lifted this up. This is the missing shoe. I have faith in life again. This is insane. This is unbelievable. I'm very, like, this totally changed my entire mood. Like, I feel like I'm an awesome salesperson and I'm gonna have a great year. Thank you. Oh, and on top of that, I just sold another shoe. So I'm gonna pack three pairs up right now, put them in boxes for tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm sitting down to pack some orders. It's 10.30 p.m. I just resolved an issue where I sent someone the wrong item and they're in Argentina. So I refunded most of the item and let him keep it. Um, so now, yeah, I'm just gonna work on shipping some of the shoes that I got yesterday. I'll just show my shipping process and myself shipping the shoes. Okay, so the first item I have to get shipped and printed, I have a really big clear plastic poly bag. It protects it from water. And I'm gonna put the shoes in. And it's gonna protrude a little bit but it actually doesn't matter and the shoes do not get damaged whatsoever unless this was like a really expensive shoe that was over a hundred dollars uh, or you know hundred fifty dollars this should be suitable people won't complain about the presentation I'm just gonna fold up the box okay so perfect I'm gonna use a little extra tape to reinforce the seal because it's not sticking that well so since I boxed this up, next thing I do is I write what the shoe is on top of the box. I put tubular uh, Adidas blue. When I print out the labels, I know what box to put the label on. Um, okay, so I also sold this pair of KD. I'm gonna probably do the same process, so I'm gonna put them in. These are a little bit thicker. I could put them in a different box. These are a really big size. I think this is a size 13. Okay, next, I have these Cole Hans right here. Um, these Cole Hans right here. I'm gonna see if they fit in this. All right, let's see if these fit. And again, I'm not worried about these getting damaged because I've seen shoes 
shipped in everything, um, not arrived damaged. There is minimal bubble padding on this, but there is padding. So now we have Cole Han. Okay, next thing to do tonight, it's now 11.07 p.m. I'm gonna clean the area that I ransacked over there and reorganize it. All right, let's go. Okay, it looks better already, but there's more to be done. Late night coffee. Two more that need to be added, but one can wait until tomorrow to pack if I need to. Okay, I've got my bags loaded up. Now I'm gonna walk out to the car and carry them down. Currently I'm heading to Chipotle to meet somebody to sell them a pair of these green hypervenom finish on let go. Change complete. $45 in fives. Didn't sell for that much, but it's very slow online. And I probably would have had the same after shipping fees, selling it for like 60 bucks. So it's all good. Now I'm headed to source. Okay, so I just arrived at my local Burlington Coat Factory. I'm gonna go take a look around. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I have about half an hour, and I just wanna see what they have. All right, so I just went to Burlington Coat Factory. I found these Flip the Switch Kyries in a youth size for $39.99. And you can see the recent sold listings they've gone for $139 and $179 have been recent prices on the solds. So that was a pretty good find. I couldn't really pass that up. But anyway, I'm running inside Ross right here to see what I can find. And uh, maybe I'll find something, maybe I won't, but I wanna list those shoes when I get home along with a couple others. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. I am at a Marshalls and there is a Ross right there. And there's a Burlington about a mile down the street. So I'm gonna go in both and see what I find. Okay, so I'm back from Burlington. I didn't find anything inside of that store, but I'm gonna show you what I found in Ross which was these um, Air Diamond Turf Trainers. So you can see some pretty good recent prices, 125, 165, 169. Of course, some people sold for 94, maybe have been a bad size, 115, 129, 130. Okay, um, I think this is gonna be it. I'm gonna call it for this video, my first vlog about reseller life. Please leave a comment about anything you wanna see in future videos. Um, I'm kind of trying to do this style of video, but I'm okay with like mixing it up with maybe s informational sit down videos, stuff like that. But I, I really like the vlog style format because I feel like just showing like the daily life is kind of relatable and just easy to watch, put in the background. Um, and it's easier, it's like you don't have to plan it out so much. So let me know what you would like to see more of um, and less of and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, I appreciate you watching. Resalicious out.